All right, everyone. I think this quarter, which is coming to an end in about a week from now, is just a little bit tougher than last quarter. <laughs> By that much. Um, when did that happen? It happened in February when tech started to get sold in every rally and you started to have divergences everywhere. I remember I think last time I did a video, people were asking me if they could leave their job as being a lawyer, a doctor, uh, a small business owner to become a trader because everyone's like, it's so easy. Well, just so you know, it's never that easy. Now is the time when real traders show up. Now is the time when you have to follow your process, your routine, and you have to stay disciplined. For me, I'm, a, I'm about a third off the highs of my quarter. And I know a lot of guys out there have been in a little bit of a rut because it, you know, the continuity is not there. Stocks aren't making higher highs. We're not sure where the money flows are going. So what I would say to you in the last few days of the quarter, don't try and get back to the highs of your quarter. Don't look at what you were up or what you've just previously lost. Go day by day. Try and do the right trade. Try and reduce your risk. If all of a sudden you just start getting green and you get green for a few days, you'll feel better. You'll make some money. And then when the market gets more conducive for your style or the market starts having more continuity, you'll put up better numbers. But don't revenge trade. Don't get frustrated because that is when you lose money you don't need to lose. And you know what? You need to provide for your family. You need to do this long term. You need to preserve your mental capital. So low growth, slow net. Take it day by day. Don't be all stressed out because you want to have a certain number by next week for the end of the quarter. Just trade what's in front of you and go little by little and it will start to add up again and you'll start to feel better. Good luck, guys. I don't care who was on the TV set, even me. Nobody knew what would happen this year. So when you don't know what's going to happen, what do you do? You fall back on your process. What's my process? I use moving averages. What do moving averages tell me? Moving averages tell me the active strength of the market, whether there's momentum, whether we're weak, whether we're really weak, whether we're like, we better friggin' avoid. Okay, that is why we use moving averages because when all else fails and you have no idea what's next, the market will tell you what's next, not the talking heads on TV, not even me. The technicals will tell you.